Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Laila. I'm from uh, group A. And now I'm going to explain you about stress. Phonetic characteristic of stress. Okay. Uh, actually, we have already learned about stress in previous semester. Uh, now I will remind you about uh, stress. Okay. What do you know about stress? Okay, stress is one of the most important pronunciation point in English. And then, uh, stress is a cumulative, cumulative uh, property signaled by a number of subsidiary phonetic factors which work together to pick out a stress syllable from the unstressed one which surround it. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, uh, you can turn the page on 118. 118 most stress okay uh, next there are three important factors which combine to signal stress the first the vowel of stress syllables are produced with higher fundamental frequency that is the vocal will vibrate more quickly and this is heard as higher pitch okay and secondly the duration of stress syllables is greater and they are perceived as longer. And then the last, thirdly, uh, stress levels are produced with greater intensity and are just heard as louder than adjacent unstressed levels. Okay. In addition, uh, stress has effects effects on vowel quality in that vowels often reduce to schwa under low stress okay for example uh for example about and syllable the stress syllable have the full vowel au au and e respectively but the unstress ones typically typically have swa we don't say syllable for instance but syllable okay uh, and then next slide how to pronounce word stress there are three yeah uh, there are three of course longer in duration higher in pitch and louder in volume Phonetic stress affects mainly the vowel in each syllable, not the consonant. The vowel in a stress syllable gets its full uh, vowel sound. The vowel in unstressed syllable is usually shortness, and in some case, is pronounced simply as a schwa, a. Thus, the word about is pronounced about, since the first syllable, a, is unstressed. Okay, next slide. Psychologists, eh, I'm sorry, phonologists distinguish primary stress and secondary stress. Okay, the secondary stress is somewhere be is somewhere between between the loudness, strength, and length of the primary stress and the loudness and so on, of no stress at all. It is kind of hell stress. For example, photographic. Photographic. Primary stress is on the third syllable. On the third syllable. And the secondary stress is on the first syllable. Po. Okay, primary stress is grab. And secondary stress is on the first syllable. Po. Fo. Fo. Okay, next, uh, predicting stress placement. The language of the word fall into two broad, two broad classes in terms of stress position. In fixed stress language, primary stress always or virtually always falls on one particular syllables. Thus, in Scots Gaelic, main stress is consistently initial. Expect in some English loan words such as buntata, potato, 
where stress stays on the syllable it occupies in the search language here the second okay and this is there are three diagrams or metrical phonology metrical phonology this is uh, you can see on your powerpoint uh, fa father about tolly discipline personal okay you can uh, heard the differences uh, the differences between them each label is label either s or y this label do not mean strong and weak weak but stronger than an adjacent w and weaker than an adjacent s respectively some illustrative trees are shown above okay this is straightforward enough for a dyslab dyslabic dyslabic uh, words like father about and tolly but in discipline personal tree construction involves two steps initially the first two notes are put together then the higher levels level s not this form is in turn combined with the left over w syllable to form another binary unit this kind of pattern can be repeat in even longer words okay friends i think that's all for my explanation thanks for your attention uh, i'm sorry if i have many mistakes please forgive me uh, the last i say wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh